In this video I'm gonna show you guys how to create a checkpoint like this one. This is a project I was created I created a while ago. Okay. It's untitled but um, I was just playing around seeing how I can go from one scene to another and um, without just going back man. when I go to that scene I do whatever I need to do there I come back and that is when I can uh, 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 get the checkpoint where I I successfully ended the level or I achieved um, winning the game or whatever uh, 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 um, whatever game you are busy with okay whatever achievement you want to achieve so i'm gonna i'm gonna build a nice system for you guys that you can work upon it is quite simple so you just need to follow these easy steps okay i use copper cubes default um default icons and uh, 3d models so that i can save the project and also present this project to you on my itch.io account you are free to download the project okay so i'm gonna show you guys this is a gui this is supposed to be the key or whatever you need to find so that you can go through that um uh, i can call it a portal okay it's like a portal you're not gonna click on it you're just gonna walk through it and you're gonna enter another uh, scene okay so i have one over here this one is the key I need to find on this level the other one over there is a is, is the achievement when I come back when I take that but I'm just gonna show you guys okay when I go through here there's nothing happens because I have a GUI there I have a text object okay text overlay key one so when I pick it up nothing happens because I need to click it there you go I like to click items when I'm using FPS first person character when you use 2d games you can click on your UIs or you can do whatever you want to but I like to use uh, clickable items okay so when I enter this um, portal with the key it's gonna render to the next scene as you can see it's just a cube okay it's just a cube on two when I click the cube it's gonna take me back to the scene I just came from okay as you can see there you go right so as you can see there on the top i have no keys left so the, what does that mean it means that i won't be able to go to that scene again i'm done you see i'm done with it scene right so what i need to do is i need to head over back to my scene and i'm looking around looking around doing some uh, obstacles whatever and i stumble upon my achievement there's my achievement so when i go back i'm able to go to the next scene again okay and when i press the key is gone so i don't have any keys left so we can work upon that all right so let me first show you how i did that let me just delete all of this stuff here i'm going to delete the key just delete the key, I'm going to delete the UI, I'm going to delete the GUI, this I'm going to leave, because this is just some cubes as you can see, right, and then we have a plane, skybox, that's hidden, okay, I don't like the skybox, there I deleted the skybox, let me just undo that, okay, there's a bunch of cubes guys, okay, and then we have the portal, that is the portal, okay, so you can you can use some 3d models if you want to but um, like i said i don't want to use 3d models i'm gonna make this um, project available for you if you don't want to go through all the tests for creating it okay so let me start off by we have a camera we have a floor the terrain we have the portal okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to create and i'm going to import a create a billboard okay that is the gui right i'm gonna put him on the floor right there okay right we have the gui 
And the next thing we need to do is, let's rename this one. I'm going to rename it to key. I'm just going to call it key, okay? Then, I'm going to create a 2D text overlay. And I'm just going to move it up on to there, to the top left corner. Right, okay, the f then we're gonna go into the attributes on click on that text overlay, go to attributes, just untick this background, dark ground, the, the draw background, just untick that. We're not gonna use that color, we want it transparent because we're gonna use the text, we're not gonna use the image. Okay, so in the text box, we need to uh, uh, um, write something. So I call the GUI key, right? So that is going to be the obstacle we're going to pick up, right? So let's name it key lowercase dollar sign. So it's key, no matter how you write it, doesn't matter, colon, space, dollar sign, lowercase, right key again, lowercase. Uh, letters and then dollar sign and it's done. Okay, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna use it again Right there we have our text. I'm gonna go into the font settings. I'm gonna put it on bold size on 16 and that's good uh, Let's go for um, Let me see Impact, where is impact? Ah, it's fine man gonna leave it like that as long as you guys can see so I'm gonna go to the scene um, the world scene that is home one okay yeah right on top and I'm gonna add a behavior here before first draw do something okay we're gonna go inside there and you're gonna see what I did you're gonna add an action that is going to be set change a variable and the variable name is key, okay, set equals value to zero, that means this text is going to change to zero, the dollar key dollar is going to change to a zero, okay, and, um, but let me explain to you guys why you have to put this word there, you don't need to put the dollar signs because why it's going to reference through the hierarchy, Right, this script is going to reference through the hierarchy and it's going to find this word key and automatically it's going to know that this key is a reference of the 2D overlay because why there is also a behavior. Right though, so we leave that just so we're gonna go back to the overlay. Here we're gonna add a behavior every few seconds. I'm gonna put it on 10 milliseconds. Right, and the action is going to be change your white text, okay? And we're going to say the current is the current overlay to the overlay, and we're just going to add key. We're going to put key, colon, space, dollar sign, dollar sign, in between, lowercase key, the word key. Okay, that is, that is also a reference, right though. It's all pointing to this before first row, right? There you go. We're going to go back, check it every key. Everything is good, every few seconds, right though, here, yeah, we need to put, let me just check something here, yeah. okay, it's good, let me just play and see what happens, okay, there you see, key zero, we have no keys, we can't pick it up, can't click it, because we still need to add a behavior action to that, go through, nothing happens, okay, right though. So we're gonna go to the GUI, the key, 
We're gonna add a behavior in the hierarchy properties. I'm gonna go to behaviors, add a behavior, and I'm going to click on it, all right? So whenever, when clicked on this, do something, we're gonna go to action. And what is the action going to be? Set change variable, okay. So set change variable, and um, the variable is key. You can leave it lowercase, uppercase, doesn't matter. Right key, set. Um, right key, set. Add one. Okay. So when I click on it, it's going to add one. And I also want to <coughs> we want to delete the C note. Okay. And I'm going to delete the key, the GUI. Because if we click the GUI it's still gonna be there we don't want to click it again and again and we're gonna pick up a lot of keys okay we just want to pick up one key so that is that okay so that is it let's check okay I pick it up there it's gone and nothing's gonna happen here because why we must still set up the portal okay we're gonna set up the portal and um okay the other thing is i didn't delete the scene home to i'm gonna leave it just so there's just a behavior here click when clicked on do something switch to another scene it's home and when variable equals to one right i set it to you need to do put the key on zero again when I go back that is how you can't come back here again because why well, I delete that key okay when you when you jump through portals portals or, or, or zones inside of one uh, one world it's this is one world no matter how many scenes you create guys it's compiled within one world it's not a different scene so you don't need to worry about any variables uh, like points in um, pickups don't worry that will go with you it will move with you until you finish the game you can even create a high score with it or like a score that that you can save low to your to your pc i'm gonna show you all of that awesome stuff guys but for now i just want to show you you can create this uh, time zone it's like a portal where you can you can use it to go from one scene to another and you can also uh use it to uh, uh, um, for a checkpoint you know when you're done when you're done with the level right so i'm gonna go to the queue and i'm gonna say if a, if key the value is key is bigger the value is it's bigger than zero right you're gonna go if value is bigger than zero what is going on here? What is going on? If a value key is bigger, okay, it's bigger, then we're going to switch another scene. It's going to be our home two. Okay, let's see if that is correct. Alright, let's go for the portal and see what happens. Nothing happens, I'm still here. Okay, let's pick up the, the key and let's go back to the portal. And there I'm in another scene. Okay, as you can see, I'm in another scene. Unfortunately, it's not showing the text there on top. But don't worry, it's saved, it's saving your, as you can see, there's the key, right? You see the key is still there? Okay, so we want the key to disappear, because this is what happens. You see, 
every time you're gonna go back and forth you can go back and forth and we don't want that we don't want that I don't want that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the scene home I need to be Yeah, yes. Okay, when clicked on home, let's take away the one there and now it's gonna work. Okay, so equals value one. If a variable is one and then I set I set it to zero, it must be zero. I'm not gonna delete it, I'm just gonna leave it at zero. Okay, you can delete the key if you want to then you won't be able to come back again anyways but like I said I'm gonna show you guys why I, I'm, I didn't delete that key okay let me go back and uh, let me play and see how that works out okay <clears throat> so like I said we go through the time zone no key we are still here nothing happens okay nothing happens we pick up the key booms we go through the time zone and we are here in a different as you can see we are in a different world open world I'm gonna click on it alright the key is still there something is wrong something is definitely wrong here let me just have a look and see what is going on um, move to cube go back to the cube why isn't my key deleted? If key equals value 1 Hey, that's the problem Here's the problem guys, sorry Okay um, Like I said, I was busy With this Tutorial video Before I recorded it, I deleted everything I left some of it So I used key 1 But it's fine um let's play again it should work properly now okay all right we go through the portal nothing happens we pick up the key all right we go back to the portal boom here we are in the portal we go back and the key is gone as you can see there no more keys Okay, we can go through, nothing's gonna happen. Okay, nothing is happening. So, then what I do is, I just clone this key. Alright, I clone the key, I put the key here. Let's put the key here somewhere, okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna name this key, it's key 1. Okay. So I'm gonna go back, let me hide it, let me just hide it for now, it's gone. So I'm gonna go back to the scene view of home 2, click on the cube, go to behaviors, when clicked on do something, go to the actions and I'm gonna add another action here. Okay, if, if zero, if zero, if key, zero if key zero right now I'm gonna go again if if key if key ah. if key what's wrong now if key equals zero then I want to make visible select now this is going to be this is going to be gonna work guys 
because this is a different scene. Okay. So, um, I'm able to What I need to do is here, I need to create a 2D overlay No, 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 not a 2D overlay, let's delete it Okay, I must add a, create a billboard I'm gonna leave the billboard there and I'm gonna call this billboard um, Let's put him inside. I don't need to see him. Okay. Just so. This billboard will be invisible. Like the one on the other side. Okay. And I'm going to call it key one. Okay, I'm gonna call it key one. So I'm going to go back to the cube, do something, we have actions, plus, right, so, select key one, okay, press okay, okay, let's see if that's going to work. 